Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before watching this video, please be seated with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. The resistance of the galvanometer G in the circuit is 25 ohm. The meter deflects full scale for a current of 10 milliampere. The meter behaves as an emitter of three different ranges. The range is 0 to 10 ampere. If the terminals O and P are taken range 0 to 1 ampere between O and Q, range is 0 to 0 0.1 ampere between O and R. Calculate the resistance R1, R2 and R3. Now, first of all, we have to understand what the question says. Here, we have given this terminal and it is connected with uh, two way. First, that is galvanometer connected and second, this R1, R2 and R3, all this resistance is connected and here, three current loops, that is the current limit is given that 0 to 10 ampere, 0 to 1 ampere and 0 to 0 0.1 ampere here the current limit is given that one by one we have to take an and uh, as we know that it is uh, this circuit are in parallel so therefore here the potential difference is equal to this potential difference in first case so therefore ig and here capital g what is ig ig means current passing through this galvanometer that is ig and resistance of galvanometer that is capital g is equal to current and resistance that is equal to potential and this potential equal. So, in this case, we can see that here net current, net amount of current 0 0.1 passing through this, but some amount of current passing through this galvanometer. So, I minus Ig, I minus Ig because some current drag out by this galvanometer. So, therefore, I minus Ig. And this all resistance R1, R2, R3 act as a as in series. So R1, R2, R3. Okay. So here Ig. What is Ig is given that 10 milliampere. And what is uh, resistance in galvanometer? 25 ohm. Here I 0 0.1 ampere convert into milliampere. Why? Because we have to take in here 10. So 0 0.1 into 1000. It means 100 milliampere and 10 milliampere drag, uh, drag out. So, therefore, now remaining current is 90 R1, R2, R3. This will be cancelled 25 by 9 that is R1 plus R2 plus R3. This is first equation. Okay. So, here it is the first equation. Now, we have when current passing through O to Q that time this R2 become series with the galvanometer. So, in this case G plus R3 in series and now what is the amount of current which is passing through O to Q that is I minus Ig because some amount of current passing through this galvanometer that is I minus Ig and the remaining resistance series R1 and R2, R1 and R2 plus. Okay? So, here Ig capital G R3 multiply open the bracket with I R1 plus R2 minus Ig into R1 plus R2. Now transposing this term then Ig capital G plus R3 plus Ig R1 plus R2 equal to I into R1 plus R2. Here, you can see that Ig get common, G plus R1 plus R2 plus R3. Here, I, what is I? You can see that here, 1 ampere and 1 ampere, it means 1 into 1000 because convert into milliampere, 1000 and R1 plus R2. Here Ig is, what is Ig? 10 milliampere. It is 25 plus 
R1 plus R2 plus R3 here 25 by 9 substitute this value 25 by 9 and uh, divided by 1000 that is equal to R1 plus R2 okay 25 9 multiply 9 that is uh, 225 and 25 250 that 10 into 250 divided by 1000 equal to R1 plus R2 what is the value 0 0 cancel out this uh, 0 cancel out sorry this is 9 remaining 25 by 90 that is R1 plus R2 this is second equation 25 by 90 okay now for the this path here r2 r3 and g now it is in series so therefore g r2 plus r3 okay because here the current passing through like this and now this become parallel so equal to i minus ig and what is the remaining resistance that is r1 so now ig capital g r2 plus r3 this is i into r1 ig into r1 now ig r1 transposing r1 plus r2 plus r3 equal to i r1 now ig 10 milliampere this is 25 25 by 9 equal to i what is the i here you can see that 10 ampere multiply by 1000 now it become 10000 and r1 so now 10 into 25 into 9 that is 225 and 25 that is 250 by 9 into 10000 that is r1 okay so here 0 0 cancel out and uh, this 0 cancel out then 25 by 900 that is r1 okay now substituting this value in uh, second equation 25 by 900 plus r2 equal to 25 by 90 then r2 equal to 25 by 90 minus 25 by 900 so convenient multiply 10 both the side then 25 to 50 by 900 minus 25 by 900 then r2 equal to 225 by 900 okay so here we get r2 now r1 and r2 substituting this value what is a r1 here r1 is 25 by 900 r2 is 225 by 900 plus r3 equal to 25 by 9 then 250 250 by 900 plus r3 equal to 25 by 9 then r3 25 by 9 minus 250 by 900 multiply by 100 to convenient that to convenient to calculate then 2500 upon 900 minus 250 upon 900 then how much that is uh, 50 2250 upon 900 okay so here 2250 divided by 900 zero, 0 cancel out this 225 by 90 and how much 9 10 and 90 and this is 25 means 2.5 okay so here r3 is 2.5 now r2 is 9 that is 100 this is 25 then r2 can be written as 0 0.25 so r2 equal to 0 0.25 and now r1 what is r1 25 by 900 then 900 then it can be written as 25 ones are 25 four is 100 that is 1 by 36 and uh, what is the value of 1 by 36 
that is uh, two positive point zero two seven 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 seven. Then it can be written as here R one is point zero two seven eight. Okay, so here this all this resistance R one is point zero two seven eight. R two is zero point two five and R three is two point five. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. There is no doubt success comes through your hard work. But if my videos can help you even a little bit, then I will consider myself so lucky. Then I remind you again, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.